Okay, I'm out in the garage, and I'm having to do a voiceover voice because my compressors are running and everything. And I've taken a 4x4 four four fence post and cut it on a 20 degree angle on the top. And then just took some little uh, pieces of wood, and I've put some glue on them. And now I'm using my brad nailer to put them on to make a roof. And then from there, I'm going to nail the bottom on. And this is going to be a little outhouse for my bathroom. So now I'm finished with that and I'll take it on the inside and start working on it. Now I'm just gonna take well, I can't get that open. Some of this uh, vinegar and a, I had a steel wool in it, let it set, and it kind of ages your wood when you put it on, but I don't know what it's gonna do to this newer wood. But it is watered, so I mean, it's. I'm gonna have to leave it sitting outside for a while to dry before I can work on it. So I'm gonna do all this, coat it real good, Take it outside, and boy, does it smell like vinegar. Whew. All right, I'm going to continue on to get this coated and take it out. Okay, here I'm going to cut this out using my Cameo. All right, it is all dry, and I really like how that vinegar with that I had put the... Uh, steel wool in just i put one steel wool pad, pad in and fill this up the rest of the way with vinegar and let it set for a couple of days and then i've after probably a week i pulled the steel wool out and it wouldn't hurt it doesn't bother me but you can see pieces of the steel wool but you could strain it you know with some cheesecloth or something or I don't know, but it doesn't bother me, so I leave it like that. It doesn't smell good. It smells like vinegar, but it really does age your wood. I mean, here, look. This was the color of the wood, and this is what it looks like after you dry it. I mean, it gives a true age look to it. Even on this, this was real light. That was probably about this color here really does work. Okay. This is kind of, I mean, it's turning out the way I want it, but, and it's aged looking, but it is kind of dark. So I'm going to take this, this is going to be the door, and I think I'm just going to do a dry brushing of white on it to make it look old, and if it doesn't work, I'll go over it with maybe some black and do it. I don't know, but I'm going to try this first, see how it does. Okay. Well. I mean, gotta have a little something that shows up. My hands are always painted and dirty. Okay, I think that's about right. Let me see. That needs more. Uh, I think that looks like it's... Yeah. And then I went on my Cameo and I cut out a little stencil. It said outhouse. And then I'm going to stencil this moon on here. Man, I wish I had some little tiny hinges. I might come up with something. I don't know. That'd be cute. And a little something for the door. Hmm. Well, I'll work on that because I don't have anything in mind. I'm going to have to start looking around my craft room see what I can come up with. But while that's on there, I'm going to do that in white because I don't think black would really show up. Let me get my sponge. Okay. Let 
think that's good. Pull it up. Okay, now, where's my little finger sander? Pretty sure that's dry. Just do it a little tiny bit. Maybe you better let it dry just a little bit. Well, once that dries good, I'm gonna sand it just a little tiny bit so it's not so outstanding. But I did want it to show up. And now, let's see, I want to put my moon on. And I'm going to have to move my table down a little bit to pull out my paint rack to get my paint. So let me go check around my room and see what I can find to kind of fix it up a little bit. Okay, I put uh, put the moon on there, and I decided to swipe a little black on the door with the white, and just painted on some little hinges because I couldn't come up with anything, and use a little piece of twine here for the door. And I don't know what else to do to it. If y'all have any ideas what else I could do, let me know in the comments below. But I think that's all for right now, unless I can find something else to do. My husband brought me home three doors, or got them out of the barn or something. He knows I like wood, so he brought me in three doors. So I'm starting on one of them. First thing I had to do was take off the hardware. And then after that, I'm going to take it out to the garage and sand them down good. All right, now I have all the hardware off from them and I have it sanded down. I'm going to start painting and I'm putting a tissue paper over it. And I think I'm going to use the plaster on this here and moss around for the frame because I'm getting tired of just white or black, white or black. I want to put a little color to it. But I'll start by paint. Better turn back around where you can hear me. I'll start by painting the inside here. Well, actually, I think I'll start with painting the frame because that way if I kind of get on that and cover it up with the white and vice versa. But this is what I'm gonna be doing to this. I think this moss is such a pretty color and it should blend right in with what I have to put on it. And I'm not real good at putting tissue paper on stuff. But I find if it wrinkles and stuff, it doesn't. It just gives it some character. It doesn't hurt the look of it, really, unless you get really bad. <laughs> I can do that. All right, guys, I'm going to keep painting this, and I'm going to paint my inside, and then I'll come back and show you what I'm going to do on the this here. All right, this is the piece that I'm going to put on it, and I've just made a crease on the sides so I know where to tear it off at. I'm going to set my board aside somewhere where I don't know. Okay. Hmm. Here goes nothing. I don't know whether to try this thing I got or just to use a brush got water in it, but I don't know how it work. well it works. I'll s drying up faster than I can do it. Right. 
I'm going to use a brush. Okay, I'm just going to tear the edges. I don't know if I'm in frame, and I've got my mat wet now. I'm going to move things around. This is not my cup of tea. This sign or this door has been sitting over there with this tissue for probably a month. And I look at it and think, I need to get that done. And I thought, well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't really like it. Or it's out of my element. Let's put it that way. I mean, I don't mind painting the wood and sanding that, but I am not one for doing this kind of thing, really. I think I kind of want to round this, too. Okay. Now, this was right on the edge, so I probably need to go in a bit. Whoa. I don't know why it's making me so nervous. I think I got it where it's supposed to go. kind of on the outside of it. Oh well, I can do more. Oh wait, that's supposed to come up here. I need to rip some around the bottom, too. All right, let's see if that fits on my board now. I do want to kind of round the edge up here. I may need to do it more. I don't know. Actually, I like that. Just like that. Looks good to me. So now I gotta get my Mod Podge out and start working the paper on there. Okay, I have my Mod Podge and I'm gonna start up here Just a little coat for the beginning. Now I can pull it up this way and go down.
Oh, this makes me nervous. Kind of getting a wrinkle in my paper there. Okay. Keep going. Slop this the Mod Podge everywhere. I should have poured some out in a cup or a plate. a little, not bad. I'm almost through it. I have two more doors like this one to come up with something. I think I'm going to make a tray out of one. I think Shelly from Repurpose My Way I think that's what she done. It might have been something else. Or maybe it was just a tray. But I think I'm going to take one of these doors and, and do, turn it into a tray. And the other one, I don't know. But they're taking up space and I need to get rid of them. control if I put this last piece down. Okay. It worked. I got it. Okay. I did take it out to the garage and distressed it a little bit. And now to seal it, I'm going to put this uh, min wax special dark on it. It's It doesn't turn it dark, but it'll protect it. It says, I think I was supposed to leave this setting for like uh, 10 to 15 minutes and then wipe it down. I'm going to put this all over it to seal it. I do like the way it's doing the edges of the picture. I'll let it set for 10 minutes and wipe it down. All right, on the back, it has these holes where the hardware was. So I'm just going to take some of this uh, uh, brown craft paper and hot glue it on to cover all that up and then put a hanger on it. All right, this is what I'm gonna be working on today. I put a pattern, I used my Sharpie and drew a pattern on here. And I have, I, I've only got so much of this wood that I can use. So, cause I have a hole here, so I had it come, I had to watch around this here. So I took my Sharpie and put this on there and I got a bad spot here. So I just stopped it right there. And I'll take it out to my miter saw and cut this off here and up here so it'll be more manageable to work with. And then I have another one or two that I wanna do. Uh, I've got some more board down here that I can make something with. 
got a couple places I'll have to work around. Looks like some varnish or glue or something's got on there. I'll have to sand that down. But it's just an old board, an old scrap piece of board that my husband had and gave to me. So I'm going to put, put it to use. Now I'm in the garage and I'm going to take um, my propane burner and I'm going to burn the edges of it and I'm going to let it run for just a little bit and let you see how I do it. Well, now that I have this all burned and I wiped it down real good, all I'm going to do with this is put a coat of polyacrylic on it. I think I'll use that sponge brush instead of a brush. Get my paint or my polyacrylic over here. I want to see how the, uh, the grain's not turning that dark. So, I like that. And I'll do this, and I'll give it, I'll do it all over and let it dry, and then I'll give it another coat. It'll have two coats of the polyacrylic. Doesn't that turn that wood such a pretty color? Okay, I'm going to finish on with this. And I like the way it's turning out. And that's all I'm going to do to it. Well, this board already has some white on it. And I'm just going to put a little more on it before I stencil it. And then I'll take it out to the garage and also sand it quite a bit. Because I do not want it solid white. All right, here I'm showing you the stencil that I'm going to make out of stencil film. And here it is made. And I'm pulling it up. And I will put, um, tack it over and over on the back side of it. And use that as my stencil and I can use it again. Well, I took it out and I sanded it down pretty good, quite a bit. Make sure it's wiped down. All right, now I'm going to have to figure out how I want to put this on there. Think about like that. I've got that tacket over and over. It's stuck. I'm going to use stencil brush. Kind of wipe off. I don't want a lot on my brush. Now I'll kind of wipe that down and I'm going to lay it on either a slick piece of paper or another something so to where I can reuse this and it'll keep it sticky. And then I'll take this back out to the garage again after this is good and dry and just hit it real lightly. Or I might just use my sandpaper in here. I'm not sure because I don't want it too distressed. All right, I'm going to let that dry and finish it up. 
All right, I forgot to get a picture of this when I was finished with it, and it's already gone out of here at the Mercantile. And this is how it turned out. I didn't sand it down very much, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and until the next one, guys, we'll see you later.